Hi, this is Kyle with Seiko, and we're going to be showing you some of the different methods that we perform out in the field uh, during construction. The first one that we have for you today is the density test by nuclear method. Uh, we're going to perform this with a gauge that's specialized for this test specifically. Um, it involves driving a pin into the ground and inserting a rod that has a radioactive element at the bottom that will uh, go back to the receiver on this machine and it's going to calculate for us automatically the pounds per cubic foot in this location. So every day when we begin with our, our gauges we're going to set it on a block that knows this machine. This machine is calibrated with this block and we're going to standardize it every day to make sure that the gauge has determined what mood it's in I guess for a lack of a better term. Um, or at least take into consideration some of the external um, variables that exist in the field. So we'll standardize that for four minutes. We've already performed that procedure for today, so we're going to go ahead with our test. We've got a rod guide. At our locations that we're going to be performing, we're going to want to make sure that we have maximum surface area contact with that nuclear gauge. So we're going to prep an area and make sure that uh, it's as flat as possible. Let me find one that's going to go with it. This test is performed to determine the compaction of a soil when we're building a structure or we're building anything for that matter on earth. We're going to want to make sure that a contractor has compacted it and pre-smashed it down for another lack of a better term so that in the future it's able to hold the weight of a structure and with this we'll be able to determine uh, what its density is relative to its maximum density for any individual given soil. So we've driven our hole into the ground and now we're going to insert that rod into it. And we're going to perform a test. So this is going to give us a count. We need to take a one minute uh, reading on this test. And after that one minute's up, it'll tell us what our pounds per cubic foot are for that soil. So for this test right here, we have a dry density of 87.6 pounds. For Arizona, that's very low. If this were a contractor placing a material, it's likely not going to be a passing test. Uh, we'll determine what the maximum uh, pounds per cubic foot for this soil is here shortly. Uh, typically, you're shooting for about a 95% to a 100. At 87.6, typically you're going to be running about 80% test right here. Um, one other thing, this gauge will also tell us the percent moisture content in the soil. That's also a factor in our compaction. Uh, moisture is going to aid you in the compactive ability of a soil. So if you're closer to what they call an optimum moisture content, you're going to be able to achieve a higher, a higher percent compaction with relatively less effort if you're closer to that optimum moisture.